Hello everyone, this is Gage from uh, Norian Smith, and today I'm going to be bringing you something special. But it'll, well, I guess this is the first of many uploads of Third Age Total War Reforged multiplayer battles. So if you don't know what Third Age Total War Reforged is, it's basically just large-scale, like, battles in Middle-earth. Like, uh, this is Dol Guldur, and I'm the dwarves, and I'm defending against the Isengard player. But, anyway. So there were no... The only rules in this battle were two max archers, one cav, and one cat and one artillery, which I have over here. But anyway, I'm gonna go over the army compositions really quickly. So over here, I have one unit of dwarven miners. As you can see over here, these poor guys are gonna get slaughtered. I have two unit. Of, I have two units of Khazad sentries, and I couldn't put my other one over here, unfortunately, because of some pathfinding issue. And then I also have one unit of Ironfoot guard over here, and also one. Khazad warrior unit over here. And I also have Blacklock Engineers up on this wall, which I was hoping that they would be able to just fire straight down into these guys, because the thing with crossbows is if they arc, like, up, like, as you can see, this, this arrow doing right over here, if they arc up, then they do no damage. So, most of the arrows are going straight down, but I was hoping that most, that all of them would be, <laughs> but that's okay. And then I also have one unit of Khazad Orc Hunters, hunters over here, and over here, I also have one unit of Kazadoom Reclaimers. And then I also, I saw that he was like deploying units over on this left flank over here, so I was really worried about that. So what I did, I just put a bunch of troops over here, and then, and then if I needed them, I could just pull them over to all the other gates. So over here, I have one unit of Kazad Sentries, one unit of Axemen of Erebor, and one unit of Hammers of Gundamad. And then up here on the flag, I have two units of Iron Foot Guard, um, one Axeman of Erebor, my general with the Mithril Guard, the Sons of Durin, who are really their beasts. You, if you're dwarves, you need to bring them, they're so good. And also the Hammers of Gundabad and my one catapult, which you will see later in the battle. Later in the battle is super, super helpful. And it's, <laughs> it's really the MVP of this battle. But, now we'll go over the Isengard's player, because, yeah, I, I am controlling the dwarves. And the Isengard, Isengard is being controlled by Steven Universe Ongoing, and over controlling his first two, I guess, siege, siege weapons is Urukai Raiders and Urukai Infantry. And then back here he has Urukai Crossbows, Trolls of the White Hand, two units of Berserkers, uh, one unit of Urukai bodyguards, which I did not realize that he had. He has one, two, three pikes, three Urukai, no, two, 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 two more pikes, and then another Urukai infantry and Urukai raiders, and another Urukai infantry, <laughs> and Nazakai, which I believe is where his general is at. I don't know actually because all the Nazakai always come with a Saruman, so uh, his general actually could be with the champions of the White Hand. Yeah, that looks like it could be him. I don't know. <laughs> but, um, and then I was actually really worried about this force over here, because I thought they would bring a battering ram and go straight to, over to my gate, but, and, like, just flank all my pikes that are in the front. But it turns out that they just had ladders. So, and anyway, but still, it's menace to my, uh, right flank. So he brought two guards of Orthanc and one unit of Urukai infantry over on that flank. And he also just has one kind of, a couple kind of random units over here. Well, actually... He has one unit of Urukai crossbows over here, which is a good idea, because he can put them up on the hill, and one unit of pikes, which was kind of an interesting choice, because pikes can get really just just wrecked by missiles, but I, I, I don't know. So we're going to start this battle. As you can see, my Blacklock Engineers are firing down. Blacklock Engineers are very good, because they have the highest missile damage out of any other thing, but they are crossbows, so it, they have limited range, and like I said, if they are... And as you can see, they are already starting to take a couple casualties. Not a lot. These guys will take more than the Urukai Raiders, just because the Urukai Infantry are not in this formation. But it's always a good idea, what he's doing is to use your cheaper units to sit, to go carry the rams and siege towers up, because they're going to be taking most of the archer fire, at least in the beginning. And he is also moving up the, 
all all of like the front force of his infantry is putting his pikes in the front, which is not a bad idea, except for missiles. And right from the start of the battle, I the biggest threat I always thought was the trolls of the white hand, because trolls if used properly are very, very deadly. And the key to using trolls is just charging him. Well, you know, just putting where you need to, but just you always have to make sure you support them with weaker troops because if you don't, then the trolls are going to be getting surrounded. But if you have, like, say, just one unit of Urukai infantry with the trolls, then the it, then the person you're charging has to deal with both the infantry and the trolls. But anyway, uh, the Isengard player Steven Universe ongoing is now doing very smart, putting his crossbows up here because not only will they be will they be firing into the backs of all the troops, they're they're also firing into my pikes, who are very, very vulnerable to missiles. And over here, I saw that he's bringing up his siege tower now, so I brought up my Cossack warriors, as well as, I believe I bring up a unit you know, of Axemen, or, yeah, over here. And I'm also bringing down my hammers of Gunabad because of the trolls, because these guys will be very good taking down the trolls, and I'm putting my cousin sentries up here to defend this part. As well as I'm moving away my Blackhawk Engineers, although for some reason they kind of do get stuck. <laughs> and yes, here are my axes. And because of this ladder, I also brought up some Hammers of Gundabad. Because these guys, their shock infantry for the most part is also very similar to Trolls, where it's good to support them. But I just couldn't spare them. I just couldn't spare it at this moment, because... At this point in time of the battle, I was still thinking, well, I'm just going to kind of defend the main gate and then just go up to this hill. But you'll see, actually, Curses. I end up the enemy just putting all battering of down our gates. troops to defending the outer wall. So I've brought most of my Blacklock engineers off, and I've put two units of infantry here, one shock and one custom warriors. Which custom warriors are not bad, they're armor-piercing, and you know, they're armor-piercing, even if they are... We must repel the invaders. And as you may have heard, they are Down the hall! The enemy's ram is through our gates. Through our gates. But that shouldn't be a problem because <laughs> I've just got a wall of pikes. But I'm also putting these dwarven miners up in the front because I was hoping that he would charge his trolls in first and then the dwarven miners would be able to take most of the charge damage. Because even into a pike wall formation like this, trolls can do a huge amount of damage with their charge. And that's all. That's why I have these hammers of good about over here to deal with the trolls. And these iron foot guard will be very good at just dealing with the normal infantry. I'm also, I also put these Kazuya Reclaimers here because they'll be able to deal a lot of damage with their axes. But also, I noticed something that was kind of interesting. I seem to, I seem to be, I don't know, I think I told my, I think I told my Kazuya Orc Hunters to be firing here at these Guards of War thing, which is not really what I wanted to do, but that's okay. And so what I was really afraid of is that he would just put up his ladders and just instantly just charge down here and get all my guys in the back, which I was extremely worried of. So I put, I moved over my hammer's move a but anyway, we'll watch this. The enemy have ladders of wars. Repel the attackers. Give them steel. And we'll see what's going on inside. So they seem to bring up quite a few of their infantry, but not all of it, surprisingly. I was kind of surprised that he was like, kind of attacking in waves. As you can see, he's got his trolls in the white hand, Urkai pikemen, berserkers, and more berserkers. But yeah, like my greatest, and he's also got guys onto the wall. But these Axemen of Erebor and the Cousin Warriors should be able to do quick work on them. And surprisingly, these are two HP Spearmen, I believe, these Guards of War thing. But I was kind of surprised that my Amazon Gunabad didn't do better. But it could also be because, as you might be able to see, arrows are flying into my own guy's backs. But I also, I, but I noticed that they're starting to really push over here, so I will send some reinforcements over here. Because, yeah. Because I was very, very worried that they would just push through and just start killing them. Very unfortunate. 
And so they're finally getting to my pike line, as you can see, and they've also managed to get Urukai crossbows over here, which is a huge problem. So I brought my Blacklock engineers down here to try to fight it. But it's not really doing the best, because for some reason they wouldn't get into formation. But that's okay, because it ends up being alright. The crossbows don't do it. So now they're bringing, now he's, now he's bringing in all of his infantry, but as you can see, my pikes are dropping from fairly early. So I think we'll just watch this out. And unfortunately, I did not put those guys in guard mode, so they take a lot of casualties, unfortunately, but I do have one more. My dwarven miners, my dwarven miners are all but dead. Oh, they're just dropping so fast. He's bringing in yet more pike. But see, that's the thing that I was very interested about. He did not attack. He did not attack all of his guys at once, but rather in waves, which is not usually the smartest idea because it allows me time to almost reform. Not exactly. Still. And for some reason. Mostly my Axemen of Erebor, but a few Khazad warriors are going down the Siege Tower, which Steven Universe on going actually did not notice this, and I didn't either, for like the longest time. So my guys were just like killing all of his Urukai infantry in the back for the longest time, and I didn't even know. As you can see, a few of the Urukai crossbows have dropped, but not really very many. But luckily, he has not yet targeted the backs of my pikes, or troops over here, but rather just some of my archers, which I'm totally fine with. I, I am perfect with that trade. Because that way they're not going the arrows not going to the back of my pikes. But see, as as you can see, he's really starting to push through my harems of Boom Bad, because he also has brought up Berserkers, which I was very, which I'm very worried about at this point. But these hammers of Gunabad, even though there's only 75 left, they actually did very, very well against the Berserkers in the But all the same, I also brought up the unit of guard. But so he's bringing up even more units. Another guard of another guards of Orthanc and Urukai Infantry, so I was wor very worried about that, and I was going to probably send more infantry over, but I was more focused with the main battle at this point in time. These Khazad centuries are very, very worth it. I like them very much, especially with the But like all pikes, they are very So at the, this is where I actually start putting the back into guard formation. And it's also when I pull my iron foot guard into the fray. Because I wait I was wanting to wait to uh, put my hammers of good in there and chill the troll so. And I also brought in my sense of doom. These guys, oh my gosh, they are so good at killing them. They are so good. As you can see though, the trolls have broken through the gates and are pushing square through my troops, which is what trolls are best at. So, I bring in my hammers of Gunabad to try to deal with the trolls, but as you can see, we're kind of we're very, we're getting pushed back, but one troll is already down. Out of 12, so and most all of them are black. And, and I am throwing my axes in there, but there was kind of weird glitches going on. And this is where my catapult starts to really be the real MVP, because as you'll see, my catapult really, really, really gets that MVP medal this this game. And for some reason, this is where my Axe and Rarebore are going down. Because I was trying to get them around to get these guys in the back and just go down this way, but they weren't doing it for some reason. But, as you can see, quite a few of the trolls have actually already dropped, and I haven't even brought in my sons of Doom just now. And that's a massive hit right there. And yes, this Urukai Raiders in the unit that is already broken, they're fighting. I'm trying to see how many trolls. There's, yeah, see, there's only six trolls left because of the shock infantry and just the iron the guard pikes. They're very, very, very good. But he's also bringing in more infantry at the moment. 
and he has Urukai crossbows out here firing over, which I'm not too worried about because, like I said before, arcing crossbow bolts does not do damage. So again, he's not attacking the full force at one time, he's just doing it in waves. And he's still got crossbows over here, but now that I've reformed most of my Black Hawk engineers, they're, pretty, they're starting to drop pretty quickly. He's still got 100 men, though. Yeah, 102. And look at that, the trolls are already down to one. And I still have 106 hits. But he's also brought up his Urukai Berserkers, and I've noticed that my left flank is really starting to get pushed. So... I believe that I'll send on these pikes fairly soon. And these guys are getting shot up by the crossbows outside of this one. Very good target because it's just a huge blob of enemy troops. So my catapult over here is just firing square down. And see, this is the weird part where none of us noticed that all my axemen are error boards down here. But they seem to be doing a pretty good job. Pretty good job. That was almost a friendly fire right there. So we're starting to somewhat push these guys back. I think that also is, I think. That's a mix of just the shock infantry mixed with the infantry as well as the cavalry. But he's also now focusing his crossbows into my black lock engineers. Which again I'm fine with because it's not gonna happen with this. And there are no more trolls. <laughs> I'm very happy about that. Oh, and it also looks like I have finally sent in my sons of doom, which these guys are really good. Actually, see, a, yeah, there's actually quite a few Urukai dropping into my guys. Oh, look at that! That was a huge hit. Two huge hits. Boom, boom. Those were just ridiculous. And look, that's like 40 yards right there. Too. But also, uh, at this point in time. My archers, my cousin orc hunters are out of ammo, so I begin to push them over here. And look, there's a huge blob of her guy right here. It's only being held back by my iron foot guard, who's an axeman of okay, I, I sent over my axeman of air board that way. So now I'm starting to get really worried because he's putting his Urukai raiders over like he's going to outflank me. But I still haven't sent over my cousin soldiers. Oh, that was a huge hit. That was... Might have been a little bit of pretty fire there on me, but not a whole lot. I mean, seriously, look at that. Look how many. He's trying to push his pikes through, but it's not going to work because it's straight into my hammer, into my sense of doer on the hammer. And then behind them are the pikes. So it's just it's just not enough. He's to bring out. He's to bring out everything. Which, how much does he have left? Still a lot, see? And my Axemen of Erebor are uh, not doing too bad. There's <laughs> still 115 of them. They're just kind of like... I don't know, they're just like standing there, most of them. They're like, hey, what's up? There's just like this one little bit of fighting. A little bit over here too, actually. But see, this is where he actually turns his crossbows into the backs of my men, which is a really, really bad thing for me. If he kept it up to sustained fire, whole battle. I think it really would have turned into time. You see, just look at that. You can see a couple of my guys even brought this too. But I'm hoping that this time he... I'm hoping, like in the battle, that he's almost out of it. I'm hoping. But he's bringing up more infantry now, which is definitely a good idea because I'm starting to kind of win back the gate. However, my left flank is still very, 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 very whittled down, I should say. Now we're kind of, instead of being like a V formation, we're kind of just like straight back below. Oh, just look at that. Wow, that was a good call. <laughs> they're all like twitching. I'm trying to push through my sense of doing it. 
pushing back against the earth. I also am not sure if he's going to bring up any more troops on the wall, so I leave my cousin warriors here, here even though they could probably help. And that's another big hit, actually. I think that might be. Well, it wasn't as big. Oh no, it was actually, because that's where my body goes. I thought it was just raiders, but no. I don't want to miss any more of those catapult hits, though, because there's still more. That, that catapult really saved my life. But again, he's refocused his crossbows on my 36 Blacklock Engineers, which I'm totally fine with, because he's just not going into the into ball. Who are now very tired, and a feat is, a dis is almost a certainty. Ooh, there's an Iron Foot Guard. There's only three left of that Iron Foot Guard. Last ones, two. There's two left, and he's one of them. But my son's Dune still have 79. Wow, they used to only have 89 just a second ago. They're still killing a lot of them, taking more casualties. And over here, I'm starting to get pretty worried, but not super, because these are spearmen. Uh, and just earn normal Urkai infantry against Axman Rebel or Iron Foot Guard. So if so that probably is enough to break through, but it's just gonna take a very, very long time. So I'm not gonna send any more reinforcements in there for a long time. But we might as well we can watch a little bit. We just look at all the bodies. Only here. half the enemy force remains. This is actually a very, very Okay, and this is where I send up pretty much all of my reserves, which is, yeah, just, uh, I even bring my Mythical Guard General down, who have 86 defense and, like, oh, six hit points or something. So I bring down another unit of Iron Foot Guard, Mythical Guard, and Covenant centuries. And what I'm trying to do here is kind of bolster, bolster the front line as well as kind of wrap around them again. Because as you can see, we're really starting to get pushed back. Here. We've only got seven hammers of food. 67 Sons of Doom, which are mostly all in this game. But also, what is happening right now is, oh, look at all the things. It's just the fact that uh, since I'm bringing my catapult down, and since these are, since these Urukai are pushing, we'll be able to get some massive hits yet again. And you'll see, a couple of them are actually really close. I was worried that they might accidentally kill like all of my dudes. Oh, I mean, look at that hit. We have lost half our men. So we've lost half, and they've lost half. The balance of forces is evenly matched. Yeah, 59 to 59. This is a really, really close battle. So he's bringing up pretty much everything, I believe. Yeah, he's bringing up almost everything. Oh, oh, another huge hit. Look at that. I think we'll just watch this for now because I don't want to miss any more of those hits. Those catapult hits. Oh, look at that. And look at that. There's already some crowding. I mean, it's only 14. It's worth it at this point in the battle. And so there's a huge push. Look at them all just trying to push forward. Unfortunately for them, it flopped them up even more. So I'm, if I can get a hit right here, it's going to be Oh! See, look at that. See, that was a lot of my own troops, but it was so many of his that were flopped up too. So I think I, that was totally worth it, my opinion. Oh, look at that. That's like got to be at least 60 right there. Just gone. And at this point, I'm totally taking that trade. I will totally lose a couple for that many dead. 
already his lines are beginning to thin because of that because of that kind of move. Oh man, that catapult is the real MVP of this battle. But actually there are no troops left. Oh just just look at that. That's so that's so good. Besides these like random hands of the crap, there's two left up. Look at that, you have a hundred a hundred pikemen routing. And that's pretty much gonna be it. He's bringing up the very, very last of his troops, which is not a whole lot. Including, I believe, he pushes up his general with the champions of the White Hand. And that is unit of Arcade Infantry is also. So he's bringing the last, very last of his troops. But besides these a few odds and ends, I believe there's actually zero troops left in the very first of this game. Just look at all the points. Zero of my own troops. Because these hammers have moved about. Or Sons of Druid were brought in late, there's only 30 of Oh, and as you can see, my principal guard is really getting in there. And these guys, oh, they're really, really good at holding chokers just because of their really that was, oh, that poor, those poor two guys, those two guys just ate it. See, this is a really good target for me to try to go for. And I'm trying to reform the lines right here, my mythical guard, just because they're kind of getting all like, just mixed in there. As you can see, like there's one poor dude way over here, just getting surrounded. So yeah, he's pushing his, he's trying to push his champs with white hand through, but it's just not going to work because it's right into my pikes, who are uh, not going to break formation and just be able to jump the fray out of the The line is getting thin. Really the only point, the strong point he's at is uh, over here on the wall, which there's not a whole lot left for him. It's about even now. That? Oh, those two hits. And now that he's got pretty much no infantry left, I believe that he... I'm pretty sure that he had missed a feat really soon. But again, guys, this was just such a fun battle to play. It was just... It was just so fun. I mean, just look. Oh, that was a lot of fun. Fire in there, actually. Of the victory we have won yeah, here today. did defeat. But man, look at the bodies right there. Wow. And there we go, I had 2,418 men deployed, 14, 000, well, 1,400 lost, and 940 remaining. I only had 900, not even 1,000 left. But I did get 3,000 kills, 69 prisoners, and Steven Universe ongoing, he did a very good job actually, got 1,600 kills. I did not really expect that. So my Mithril Guard only got 21 casualties. Hammers of Gundabad, I believe these were the ones by the gate, got 173. Blacklock Engineers, at first I thought they weren't doing very good because they were just taking so many casualties right over here, but they still got 169 kills. Axemen of Erebor each got 180. Ironfoot Guard, 219, I believe that was also the one in the front gate. 127. Sons of Durin got 347 kills. I believe there are only like 30 of them left, but 347 kills. That's a... ooh, wow. Cause of Sentries, uh, getting two, almost 300 and two... two 250 pretty much the last one only getting 26 because they were on the wall or they were on that hill most of the time Kaza Doom Reclaimers did pretty decent they got 185 that's not bad Orc Hunters they did not do good the Kaza Orc Hunters only got 65 kills but the Catapult look 545 kills the Dwarven Miners got 35 or 53 kills and then the Kaza Warriors got 35 but uh yeah that's it Thanks for watching, guys, and please comment, like, and subscribe, and farewell until your iries receive you at your journey's end.